Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this little cardigan sweater. It's perfect for beginners. It's very easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, the one that we're going to make in the tutorial is for babies between nine and 12 months old, but if you look down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, let's get started, but first don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Also, don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Okay, to knit this little sweater, I'll be using these 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. I'm going to be using circular needles, but you can also use straight needles. Now, I'm going to also be using this DK weight yarn. This is the yarn that I'm going to be using. There is going to be some color variation, but that's because the yarn is like that. So you can use any DK weight yarn, any number three yarn, or eight ply yarn to make this little sweater in the size that we're making this for. So here, to begin, we need to cast on a total of 74 stitches. I'm going to show you a way to cast on your stitches. You can use any method. So here, the first thing that we need to do is I'm going to wrap around both needles, like this, my yarn, 20 times. That's two. Twenty. Now remove it from your needles. This here is enough yarn for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up again. We have enough for 40. Double it up again. We have enough for 60. Double it up again. We have enough for 80 stitches. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit more and right here I'm, go I'm going to make a slip knot right there. Now insert both needles through this slip knot like this. And now this yarn here is coming from the yarn that we just measured, and this here is coming from the skein. Now insert your finger like this and open the yarn. We're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this. That's two, three, four, five, six and so on continue until you have 74 stitches i'll meet you back okay i finished casting on my stitches i have 74 stitches now this is all the yarn that i had left so here we're just going to tie a knot here at the end now perfect now remove one of the needles carefully now to begin, for the first two rows, what we're going to do is we're going to knit each one of the stitches. So here, we're going to begin with the first stitch here on this first row. We're going to knit the first stitch, knit the next, knit the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to knit each one of these stitches until I get to the end of this first row. Continue, finish this row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I still have these last two stitches. Same thing, we're just going to knit. Now here's the first row. We're going to turn for the second row, and for the second row, we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to knit each one of the stitches. So the first one, make sure you knit the next one knit and so on just like this this is all I'm going to do for this second row continue and I will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this second row I have these last two stitches same thing knit now here's the second row turn for the third row now, in this third row, I'm going to add my buttonholes. I'm just going to knit each one of the stitches here until I come to the last four stitches where I'm going to add my first buttonhole. Also, if you want to make this part here of the neckline a bit wider, you can add more rows. I like this style here it's very basic very easy 
so anyone can knit this little sweater okay so I'm just going to continue like this for the third row and I'll meet you right about here maybe about four stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to add that first buttonhole I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we're going to add our buttonholes. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this row is that if you want to make this a gender neutral baby sweater, then just go ahead and make the buttonholes here in the same way that I'm going to make them. It, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Um, babies are not going to criticize you and say you made the buttonhole on the wrong side, if you know what I mean. So here I have my last four stitches. I'm going to knit this next stitch. I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to knit two together like this. And then knit the last stitch as well. And here's the first buttonhole. Now you're going to have to determine how many rows you're going to leave in between the buttonholes. Now for the fourth row, turn and here we're going to knit the first stitch as always, knit the next stitch, and this is where we added our buttonhole. Now, I don't want this big gap here. I want a small buttonhole, so I'm just going to knit this yarn over that we did through the back like this, and that's going to create a smaller little hole. So if you're using bigger buttons, then by all means, just leave it like that where you knit it through the front see there's a little gap now knit the next stitch knit the next and so on for the fourth row we're going to just continue and knit each one of the stitches now continue and I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row I'm here at the end of this fourth row these last two stitches same thing we're going to knit now turn for the fifth row now in this fifth row, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the front panels, the shoulders, the back side. So to do this, we're going to have to place some stitch markers. So before we continue, let's do that. So here I'm going to count 13 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Now place a stitch marker right there. Now count one. And after this one stitch, place a stitch marker. Now this stitch here that we have, this is where we're going to be making our increases before and after. Now we're going to count 10 stitches for the shoulders. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Place a stitch marker. Again, we're going to Count one, and then after that, place a stitch marker. Now for the back side, we're going to count 24. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Place a stitch marker here. Pass one stitch and place another stitch marker right there. We have a stitch in between. And now again, we're going to count 10 for the other shoulder. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Place a stitch marker. Place a stitch marker after this next stitch. And then here we have 13 for the other front panel. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. Perfect, so we have 13 for the front panels. 10 and 10 for the shoulders, and then 24 for the back side. And in between, we have four stitches where we're going to make increases. So here, to begin this fifth row, I'm going to knit 13 stitches. One, Twelve, thirteen. Now I'm going to yarn over, pass the stitch marker, knit one, pass the stitch marker, and then yarn over. And now we're going to knit these ten stitches. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit one, pass your stitch marker, yarn over. This is how we're going to increase every other row. Now we're going to knit these 24 stitches for the back side. That's two. Twenty-four. Now yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit one, pass your stitch marker, yarn over. And here we're going to knit these ten stitches. That's one. Ten. Yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit one, pass your stitch marker, yarn over. And here we're going to finish with these last 13 stitches. That's two. Thirteen. And here's the fifth row. Now at the end of this fifth row you should have 82 stitches because we just added eight extra stitches. Now for the sixth row, turn. In this sixth row, we're just going to knit across. So knit the first stitch. That's one. Twelve. Thirteen. Now, this next stitch here is a yarn over that we did on the previous row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knit like this through the front. Now pass your stitch marker, knit the next stitch or the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, and then knit the next yarn over. Now again, I'm going to show you, we're going to knit these next stitches, that's one, Ten. Here's the next yarn over, knit, pass your stitch marker, knit the center stitch. This center stitch we are always going to knit no matter which side we're on. Pass your stitch marker and then knit. And then I'm going to continue and finish this sixth row. One thing I forgot to mention before starting this row is that we are only going to be increasing every other row. So the next row we're going to increase, the next one you're just going to knit across. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row, knit the last stitch. Now turn at the end of the sixth row. I also have 82 stitches. Now from here on, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the fifth row. Now, before we continue with the next row, I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker here. This is going to tell me that whenever I see this stitch marker, it's the row where I'm going to increase. If you don't see the stitch marker, you're going to be on the other side, and in that row, you're not going to increase. Only when you see the stitch marker is when you're going to increase. So here, for the seventh row, this is where we're going to increase. So same thing, we're going to knit the first stitch and I'm going to knit until I come to the first stitch marker. That's two. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Yarn over. Pass your stitch marker. Knit the center stitch. Pass your stitch marker. And yarn over and then knit one, two, 
11, 12. Yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit to the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, yarn over, and then continue and finish this seventh row. At the end of this seventh row, we're going to have 90 stitches because it's an increasing row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the seventh row. At the end of this seventh row, you should have a total of 90 stitches since we increased eight stitches here in this row. Now in this eighth row, we're going to knit across. So here I'm going to show you again what to do with the yarn over. So knit the first stitch, that's one, two, Thirteen, fourteen, and here's the yarn over. So knit through the front, pass your stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, knit the next yarn over. That's all you're going to do for the rest of this row. So continue, and I will meet you at the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. This is where we knit all of the stitches. Here's my last stitch. I'm just going to knit. At the end of this eighth row, I also have ninety stitches. Now we're going to turn here for the ninth row. This is going to be an increased row. Remember, this is the stitch marker that tells us. So here I'm going to show you one more time how to increase and then you're going to continue on your own until we have a total of 16 holes here. Right now we have three. So for this ninth row, we're going to knit the first stitch and then knit until you come to the first stitch marker. That's two. Fifteen. Now here's the first stitch marker, yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, and then yarn over. And now you're going to knit until you come to the next stitch marker. So that's one, two, Thirteen, fourteen. yarn over, pass your stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass your stitch marker, yarn over, and then continue and do the back side. Now you're going to continue like this and finish this row. At the end of this ninth row, you're going to have 98 stitches, and then you're going to turn for the tenth row and knit all of the stitches, and then for row 11, you're going to increase. Same thing for row 13, you're going to increase 15 and so on. You're going to do this until you have a total of 16 holes here or 16 increases. So continue and finish the yoke and then I'm going to come back and show you what we need to do next. Now, another thing that you need to remember is buttonholes. I already did my first buttonhole. I'm going to add more. I'm not sure um, at which rows I'm going to add them, but continue watching. I will let you know once this part here is done um, where I'm going to be adding my buttonhole so that you can do the same thing. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you back once we have these 16 increases to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my yoke. I did a total of 36 rows, and here I have now a total of 16 holes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen holes here. I have a total of 202 stitches. Now what we're going to do next for row 37 is we're going to just knit across. We're not going to make any increases or anything. I'm just going to knit each one of these stitches in the same way. We're going to knit the first stitch, knit to the next, and so on. No increases for this row. I'm going to show you here what you need to do for each one of the corners where we increase so that you can do the same thing for the rest of this row 37. Now I also went ahead and added a buttonhole in row 23. So every 20 rows I'm adding a buttonhole. So you can do the same thing. If you want the spacing to be less then go ahead and um, leave 
the spacing as you wish, but I'm going to do it every 20th row. So here, I'm just going to knit all of these stitches. Pass the stitch marker, knit to the center stitch, pass the stitch marker, and then continue and knit. I'm not making any increases, I'm just going to knit all of the stitches for this row. Now continue and I'll meet you at the end of row 37. Okay, I finished making this 37th row. Now what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to divide the sleeves. I already mentioned that I did a total of 36 rows plus the row that we just finished and I have a total of 16 holes here. So now we are going to divide here are the sleeves. Um, I'm going to knit a total here of 29 stitches, which is going to be for the front panels. Remember that I have a total of 202 stitches. So 29 of those stitches is going to be for this first panel here. So that's three. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Now these stitches I'm going to leave here because I'm not going to continue with these needles. So I'm going to leave these stitches here and now with these double pointed needles I'm going to leave this yarn here as well and I'm going to grab here the yarn. I went ahead and cut my yarn and I I'm doing some color controlling here because I want to make sure that the sleeves are all the same. So here I'm just going to leave this yarn waiting until I finish the sleeves and then I'm going to continue with this. I didn't want to cut my yarn right here because um, this part here is yellow and I want to start my sleeves with white so that way I can play around with the color here. So if you're using variegated yarn, this is an easy way for you to do some color controlling. So I took off all of the, the yellow and I'm just going to wind it here a little bit like this. And I'm going to make a little ball and tie it so that this is out of the way. You can also use another ball of yarn to do the sleeves separately. I'm going to use the same ball of yarn, but I'm going to start with the white part of it. So here I'm just going to tie here this ball. So that it doesn't come undone. And that way it's there. Now we're going to remove these stitch markers here. For the sleeves, I'm going to do 44 stitches and I'm going to add one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end so that in total I have 46 stitches for this leaf. So here before we start I need to attach my yarn so with the help of a crochet hook just go here to the side right there grab a loop here bring it to the front and just tie a knot here just like that. This is going to be easier, that way the yarn doesn't slide around. So I'm using these double pointed needles since I'm not going to have too many stitches and I don't have another needle in the same size. These are 3.5 millimeter double pointed needles. Another thing that you can do is you can finish this row, just make sure to put the stitches on hold for each one of the sleeves and then come back and do the sleeves after you finish this row. I'm going to do it like this. So here to begin, I'm going to add one stitch here. So to do this, just go like this, like make a loop there. And then we're going to knit a total of 44 stitches, including this one, I'm going to have 45. So that's one, Two, 
43, 44. Remove this stitch marker and 45, including the stitch that I added here. So I mentioned that for the sleeve, it's only going to be 44. Now, remove the stitch marker. I'm going to put a stopper here at the end and I'm just going to leave these needles here because we're going to now knit the sleeves. These double pointed needles are perfect because I don't have too many stitches. So now I'm going to add an extra stitch here at the end so that in total for the sleeves I have 44 plus one plus one. So that's a total of 46 stitches. Now we're going to turn for the second row here of the sleeves. So here to begin, we're going to knit this first stitch, which is the stitch that I added. So just knit it like this and then knit across to the last stitch. So that's two. Forty-four, forty-five, and forty-six stitches here. Perfect. We have forty-six stitches, and all we're going to do from here on is just knit for every row until we have um, the sleeve done. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do for this sleeve. Here, I'm going to place a stitch marker to mark this row here. This is the second row, so I'll know that I'll start counting from here. So that's row two. And then I'm just going to continue and finish the sleeve. Continue watching, I'll let you know how many rows exactly I'm going to do. Okay, I finished making the sleeve. I did a total of, let's see, 56 rows. So from here up to this last row, it's 56 rows and it's measuring. From here up to here, it's measuring about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches. Now, if you want to make your sleeve longer, you can. What I'm going to do now here is I'm going to make the cuff. So. I'm going to remove this stopper here and put it here. And I'm going to knit the first stitch, purl the next stitch. So knit, purl, knit, purl. That's all I'm going to do to the end of this row here. So knit one, purl one. Now, my last stitch here is a purl. We're going to turn and we're going to repeat the same thing. Here, to begin, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to slip the first stitch. This is so that we have a nice edge here. So slip this stitch and then the next stitch, purl. Knit, purl, knit, purl to the end of this second row. Okay, here's my last stitch, purl. Now turn for the third row and same thing. Slip the first stitch and purl the next stitch. 
that's all I'm going to do from here on. I think I'm going to do about, I don't know, seven or eight rows. Continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. And this is all I'm going to do here for the cuff. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Remember to slip the first stitch. Okay, continue and I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the cuff. I did a total of eight rows. Now what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to close now all of these stitches. So to do this, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to slip the first stitch and purl the next stitch. Now the first stitch, I'm going to bring it over the second stitch. Now the next stitch, knit, bring this stitch over the first stitch. The next one, purl, same thing, bring the stitch over the first stitch. Next one, knit, bring the stitch over the first stitch, and so on. This is how we're going to cast off our stitches. So continue, and I will meet you once this part here is done. Okay, I'm almost done closing here. I still have one more stitch left. So what I'm going to do here so that this stitch here is um, doesn't get huge like it normally does here at the end I'm going to combine both together like this so there's two stitches now on this needle and I'm going to knit both of them like this now we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to leave a nice long tail enough so that we can seam this part here so I'm going to leave I don't know about that much cut your yarn and then just pass your yarn through the through this last loop like this now pull this part here is done the cuff is all done and the sleeve is done and that's what it looks like now we're going to leave this here waiting we're going to close this at the end what we're going to do now here is we're going to go right here this is where we separated the stitches for the sleeve this is where we left off this is the yarn that i had cut so that i can begin with just the white here so i'm going to use this yarn to continue down the back because so far we only have this front panel. So now we're going to continue here. And we're going to knit all of these stitches here for the back side. But first, what we're going to do is make sure that you're on the right side. This here is the right side right there. So here I'm going to add four stitches under the sleeve that's one two three four perfect now let's continue along here and we're going to knit the back stitches for the back, we have 54 stitches, so knit one. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Now I think I said fifty-four, but no, it's fifty-six stitches. And here, if you cut your yarn right here, then you can just join the new yarn to the end that you had, or you can attach the yarn here to the side and then just start knitting 
um, I forgot to mention that part. So we have 56 stitches for the back side. So now what we're going to do next is same thing. We're going to leave these stitches here waiting. And we're going to continue here with the other sleeve, the second sleeve. So I'm going to use these double pointed needles and I'm going to cut my yarn again to do some color controlling because all of this here is all yellow and I do not want yellow because I want to make sure my sleeves look the same. So I'm going to pull all of this yarn until I come to some white. See, yellow still. I think we're getting there. Let's see. Okay, so about right here. So I'm going to cut this yarn. This here is a yarn I just pulled off from the skein. And I can always reuse it because um, this part that I'm doing here for the back side was all yellow, so I can always attach it to, I don't know, this end here. So we'll see how it works out. So here we're going to remove these stitch markers, and for the sleeves, again, we're going to have, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, perfect. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this yarn with the help of a crochet hook. I'm going to go right here into this stitch, just grab a loop and just tie a knot right there. And with my double pointed needles, which are the same size as my needles here, I'm going to knit these 44 stitches. But remember first, we add a, a stitch, so I'm going to add it here. I'm just going to do that. So knit, that's two. Remove the stitch marker, three. and 44. Remove this stitch marker here. So 44 stitches, I remove that next stitch marker and I'm going to knit this next one. So that's 45 stitches, including the one that I added here. So now here at the end, I'm going to add an extra stitch so that I have 46 stitches now for the sleeve. We did the exact same thing on the other side. So remove this stitch marker and we're going to leave these stitches waiting. Now I'm going to turn this over like this and same thing we did for the sleeve. Knit the first stitch and knit across. When you finish this second row you're going to turn again and then repeat remember to put a stitch marker to mark this second row so that it's easier for you to count your rows here continue for a total of 56 rows which is the same number of rows that we did on the other side and then remember to do your eight rows and then close your stitches here for the cuff and then when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a nice long tail so that we can seam um, the, the sleeve here. So continue and do the exact same thing we did for the other side, for the other sleeve, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I went ahead and finished the second sleeve here at the end. Make sure to cut your yarn and leave 
a long tail here because we're going to use it to seam here this side. Um, for the sleeve, I did it exactly the same as the other side. It's a total of 56 rows plus eight rows here for the cuff. So the second sleeve is all done. So now we're going to continue with the rest. Let's see, this is where we left off. This is the back side. So now we're going to continue with the remaining stitches here for the front panel, which is 29 stitches. But before we continue, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Four stitches here. So we're going to add four stitches. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to continue with the front panel here. We're going to knit the first stitch here that that's part of the panel and then continue along and knit across to the end of this row. And knit. So this first row here is all done. We have 29 stitches for the front panel. We have, let's see, 56 stitches for the back side, and then again, 29 stitches for the front panel, and then we added four stitches on each side. So now I'm going to continue with the second row. So we're going to turn here. This here is the back side of the sweater from here on. So I would just put the stitch marker on the other side so that you know that the other side is the front of the sweater. So here, we're on the wrong side of the sweater here, so we're going to knit across, knit the first stitch and knit these 29 stitches until you come to the stitches under the sleeve where I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Twenty eight, twenty nine, and then we have the four extra stitches that we did here. So just knit these stitches in the same way. That's one, two. three and four. Now continue for the back side and knit the remaining of these stitches for the back side. And then when you come to under the sleeve here, do the same thing. You're just going to knit and then finish the second row. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished making the second row. I'm here at the end. Now at the end of this second row you should have a total of 122 stitches we had 29 for each one of the front panels then we had 56 for the back side and we added four stitches on each side so that's a total of 122 stitches um, that we're going to continue with from here on here we're going to continue and work the bottom of the sweater as you can see we already have the sleeves that's what it looks like. One thing that you also have to keep in mind from here on is to make sure to do your buttonholes. Uh, I'm doing my buttonholes every 20th row. So my last buttonhole here was on row, let's see, row 23. So my next button is going to be uh, row six um, because I only have, let's see, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 rows. I need to make four more rows. So that will be row six um, since we started counting rows here. So I'm going to now continue where we just knit the bottom of the sweater. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do here for this little sweater, but just continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows. And here, just to uh, 
start you off all you're going to do always is just knit every single one of these stitches across and then same thing for the next row so knit to the first stitch knit knit and so on that's all so continue and i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making this part i have a total of about 77 rows so from under the sleeve to the end of this row it's about 77 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder here to the end of this last row this here is measuring about 12 inches which is about 30.5 centimeters now if you want to make this part here longer you can and if you want to instead finish maybe the last i don't know two four six eight rows here uh, by making knit one purl one knit one purl one just like we did here you can i'm just going to leave it like this i'm going to make this nice and simple so that anyone can make it so now what we're going to do here in the next row is i'm going to go ahead and cast off my stitches so to do this here's what we need to do also if you want to make this part here longer you can i'm just going to leave it like this for the size that we're making i think this is perfect now to cast off your stitches all you're going to do is knit one or in this case the first one knit the second one now bring this stitch over the last stitch that you just knit again knit the next stitch bring the stitch over this one again knit the next one and bring the stitch over this one that's all we're going to do to cast off our stitches so continue and i'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next okay i finished casting off my stitches here i have not cut my yarn because what i'm going to do next is with this crochet hook this is a 3.5 millimeter hook i'm going to go here along the sides and then along the neckline uh, this is optional you can leave it like this as it is it's all done now all you would have to do is just seam here the sleeves which i will show you uh, after i finish this part also make sure that you are on the right side uh, when we started this part here i moved this stitch marker to mark the right side of the sweater this here is the inside so make sure that you are on the right side if you're going to do this next part here with the crochet hook if you don't know how to do crochet then don't worry about it just leave it like this as it is it's uh, perfectly fine as you can see I'm just going to go ahead and do this so that this part here looks a bit more nicer so to do this this is where I finished so what I'm going to do next here is let's see make sure you're using this 3.5 millimeter hook to do this part here so now chain one here and into this row right here insert your hook there and make a single crochet now skip one row and into the next make a single crochet see i'm i'm going to skip this row here and make a single crochet now again as you can see what i mean by rows is the little bumps here you can see the little bumps right there so i'm going to skip one and into the next i'm going to make my single crochet right along the very edge here so skip one make a single crochet let's see skip one and into the next a single crochet now this is going to make it look a lot nicer here the edges so that's all i'm going to do and that's what it looks like see i'm going to skip one row into the next make my single crochet now i'm going to continue like this along here the front panel and then around the neckline do the same thing and then around the other front panel so continue finish this part and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the top i finished making these single crochets now make sure you don't do too many single crochets here because then this part here is going to start to flare i'm right here at the very top and i just want to show you what you need to do into this stitch make sure that you go in again and make two single crochets this is going to help turn here along the neckline all you do is just go into each one of these stitches here and make a single crochet like this just pull and you'll be able to see the stitches there so continue like this around the neckline here on this other side you're going to do the same thing make two single crochets in this corner and then continue and finish this other front panel make sure that the same number of single crochets that you've did here on this side you um, do exactly the same here on this other side so continue and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished making single crochets along this other side. Now here I'm at the end. So into this row where we closed or cast off our stitches, just insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn, pass your yarn through that last loop. You can also continue down the bottom if you like. I'm just going to leave it like this. Like I said, I want to keep this super easy for anyone to make. So this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Look how beautiful this looks. I absolutely love, love this yarn here. Now, I only went ahead and added three buttonholes here. So there's one, the other one is here, two, and three. And I think I mentioned I was making my buttonholes every 20th row. Now, I only did three because I totally forgot after I started doing this part to add buttonholes. So um, if it happens to you, it's okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to close the bottom of the sleeve here. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see, it's a nice, clean seam. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So we're going to go right here, right under the sleeve. Both sides are the same. So I'm just going to show you here how I did it. So we have this yarn here. I think it's too long. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of it. It's too, too long. And I have my needle here. We're going to go right here to the very beginning. Insert your needle right there. And then go back through the same row on this side. Now you can go back again and do it one more time just to secure this, this part here. Perfect. Now along this side, we have the stitches here on the side. So you're going to go right through the middle between the two rows here and go in like this. Now, same thing for this side. Make sure here that each row corresponds with the other side. That's the important thing, so that this part here looks nice and pretty with a very nice finish. Right there. Find the next. Right there. And the next. Here's the last on this side. Now, here on this side, we have the first row right here. So I'm going to go through this stitch along this side and same thing on this side, right here, right there. Now you can do it here. Actually, I think I'm going to go on this side right there and right there and right there along the very edge. Now you can also do it where you go right here along the very edge. You see this little bump right there and same thing here on this side. So you can do it either way. I'm going to go right here. You see the little bar. I'm going to go here on this side and find the corresponding row on this side which is this here. And then go into the next row right there. And the next row. The important thing here is that the rows correspond on either side. So that's all I'm going to do to close this part here. So continue. And I'm going to meet you right here to show you how we're going to close this gap here. Okay, I finished closing this part here. I'm right under the sleeve. This is the last row right before we have this part here that increases. So here in this last row, I'm going to reinforce this last stitch by just making a little knot here. Just go in like this. Just tie a little knot here like that. Perfect. Now we're going to go on the inside of the sleeve and here's where I finished right there and we have actually I'm gonna turn it like this we have the stitches that we did right under the sleeve 
hold it like this and right through the middle here insert your needle like this right through the middle again of where we finished our last stitch and reinforce this like this now there's no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing here is that we close this part here so what I'm going to do is there's a gap right here so I'm just going to go in like this through the center stitch right there and close that and again go through it again to reinforce that stitch perfect now let's take a look on the outside I think that looks pretty good now I'm going to go to the other side let's see there's a gap here looks like there's a very small one so I'm just going to go I'm right here on this other side so I'm just going to go right here and just close that and then again one more stitch and just tie a little knot there and then cut your yarn and hide your ends and let's see perfect that's what it looks like here under the sleeve now that's what you want to see make sure there's no holes or anything so now I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera just hide my end there I'm gonna cut this smaller and then I'll do that right after so this part here is all done so you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here you're going to do it here on this side I already went ahead and did mine look how it looks perfect so here's the finished little sweater it's absolutely beautiful now there is one thing that if I were to do this again I would make the sleeves a little bit longer since the size here is for 9 to 12 months I'll give you the the measurements in a little bit I think the sleeves need to be a little bit longer but um, it's only off by maybe two or three centimeters so you can always undo this part before you close it obviously and then just continue maybe make this part here longer that way it folds and you'll add the two to three centimeters that you need for the length of the sleeve so now let me give you the finished measurement so from the top of the shoulder to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 26 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 17 centimeters which is about 6.75 inches now this part here right across from here to here it's measuring about 13.5 centimeters which is about 5.25 inches now from the top of the neckline down to the bottom here the last row it's measuring about 29 centimeters which is about 11.5 inches now the chest area just the top it's measuring about 29 centimeters which is about 11.5 inches so based on these measurements this little coat jacket or cardigan is for baby boys and girls between 9 and 12 months old now these buttons that I used here these are 11 millimeters but as I mentioned as I was making this part here I totally forgot that I was supposed to make buttonholes so I didn't uh, add any more so it was all my fault I totally forgot but I have some tiny little buttons that I'm going to show you these here these are perfect these are eight millimeters so if you don't even want to add any buttonholes uh, then these little buttons fit through the stitches I already try them like this little stitch here it's going to go through so if you don't want to bother with the buttonholes then just use eight millimeter buttons and make them go through the spaces in between the rows and that should also work as well so that's another option now I'm going to show you this little sweater that I did for the Spanish tutorial if you want to make your little sweater smaller or bigger it's just a matter of using smaller or bigger knitting needles so down here in the information box I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now this one 
here I went ahead and used uh, three millimeter kneading needles and I did it exactly in the same way. So that's an option for you if you like to make it smaller or bigger. Here at the bottom it's a little bit different but if you want to see how I did it you can always go and look at the Spanish tutorial and see how I did it. I also have subtitles on that. I didn't want to show you here on this one because I wanted to keep it nice and simple but uh, that's another option. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.